Francesco. Most of you guys know me for my TikTok videos in which I paint artworks like the ones be behind me. And uh, what you guys don't know about me is I'm from Montreal, Canada. My first language is French and I just moved to Vancouver. It's been a few months. My background is I studied industrial design first. I did that for three years and I never worked as an industrial designer. When I finished my studies, I went to university and I studied mechanical engineering. And when I finished, I worked for four days as a mechanical, a mechanical engineer before realizing it was not for me. I was more of a, an artistic person. So I quit and for almost two years, I did graphics slash web design. And on the side, I was working on my art, on my style. And recently I dropped, I dropped all my contracts, all my uh, graphic slash web design uh, customers and I now, I now focus mainly on my videos and trying to entertain you guys. So what I do is I make entertaining videos and I try to inspire people to follow their dreams. And how I do that is through my TikTok videos mainly where I paint artworks uh, like these ones in an entertaining way and what I'm really trying to convey through my art and everything I'm doing is you don't have to uh, study and get a job you, know, you don't have to go to school to follow your dreams it's easier than ever to just start doing whatever you want to do and follow some tutorials online and YouTube and there's so many ways to learn anything new these days and just follow your passion do what you like and try to be as happy as possible so yeah what I do is I make art to inspire people so I started painting full-time uh, about six months ago before that I did other things um, but I really started painting in 2013 as the same time as I, as I entered university. So the first paintings I did were abstract and to be honest, when I look back at them, they were not really good. But we all start somewhere, right? And uh, after doing a few things and trying different mediums and sizes and styles, I finally found something that I really liked and I, that I thought people would like as well and that was in November 2019 so it's really recent and uh, yeah so it's been a few months only that I'm a full-time artist and what got me into art um, to answer this question I have to go back when I was uh, five years old so when I was five I went to the art museum in Montreal with my grandparents and there was an exhibition and uh, uh, there were paintings of Jackson Pollock so Jackson Pollock for those of you who don't know who he is he uh, basically takes paint and he just throws them at he throws paint at canvases uh, so his style is not really sophistic sophisticated but was really innovative at the time so I think it was painting at, at, at the beginning of the, uh, the 90s and yeah so his style was really unique and there were paintings of Jackson Pollock everywhere on the walls on the floor I can remember really vividly how they were uh, placed in the room and when I saw the paintings I realized that uh, art doesn't have to be really uh, complex and take months to, to make. It can be really simple. Uh, the idea is to just find something that's different. And from that point, I every time I would come and enter my house, I would uh, run and grab pencils and papers and start drawing. And I never stopped drawing since. Uh, my favorite piece so far is my 
I would say my Billie Eilish painting, the one that's right there, because I think it's the first painting that I did and that made me realize I was on to something. Before that, I did three other paintings that were similar. The style was similar, but uh, there were no hair and the colors were not really great. But yeah, the Billie Eilish one is the first one that made me realize that I was onto something and that's the one that made me drop my job and start painting full time. So for that reason, that's my favorite painting. But uh, I would say my Joker is probably the one that looks the best so far. Uh, yeah. All right, so every time I do a new painting, I start by finding a nice picture online that I like and that I want to use as a reference. So that's what I did for my Joker. And then I always start by doing the design in Photoshop because I can and it's so much easier to try different combinations of forms and, and colors. So I always do the design in Photoshop and then when I'm satisfied with the result, I start uh, painting the real thing and I always use my Photoshop as a reference, obviously. And uh, I use acrylic paint on canvas and yeah, that's it. Um, this is funny that you asked this because I'm actually working on a super villain. Um, I'm not gonna say who it is, except that she has uh, blue and pink hair and she kind of likes the Joker. Um, yeah, so um, my Joker painting actually made me realize that uh, painting superheroes or super villains makes my paintings actually better. So with my style, I think that what works best is uh, super villains or superheroes. So everything that's not just a face with hair and a jacket looks good with my style, I think. So my Joker made me realize that. And because of this, for my future paintings, I'm gonna focus on painting uh, characters from movies instead of just normal people or famous people. So yeah, definitely I'm gonna paint some super villains and superheroes in the future and I'm super excited about it. Uh, first of all, I'm really thankful to Geeks Gonna Geek for inviting me on the show. This is really appreciated and uh, it's really nice to offer me to have some visibility. So if you like what they're doing, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to Geeks Gonna Geek. And uh, also make sure you follow me on, on TikTok and Instagram so you don't miss my future videos and paintings and artworks, whatever they are. And you can buy everything I, I did so far on my website, mattchesco.com. So it's just my name with .com. And I'm also selling prints. So if you don't want to spend a lot, of a lot of money on my paintings and you only have a few dollars to spend, you can buy my prints. They are all, everything is for sale on my website right now. And the last thing I want to say is, uh, whatever you're doing right now, if you're not satisfied, if you're not happy with what you're doing, it's probably because you're not doing the right thing. So it may be a job that you don't like, maybe, uh, I don't know, some school homeworks or school projects you don't like. Well, everything in life just comes to an end. So just uh, wait and be patient and somehow you will be able to move on to something else and what I really want to say is um, always go after your dreams because otherwise what's the point in living so if you have other dreams but you're not realizing them right now uh, don't worry uh, it's gonna come just make sure it's always in the back of your mind and for me one of my dreams was uh, painting, be an artist, making art and entertaining people 
it took me so many years before actually realizing what it was and how to do it. And now I'm doing it and I'm super happy and I'm super excited every day. I wake up to entertain you guys and show you uh, new things that I'm working on. So yeah, always go after your dreams because otherwise it's the point in living. Thank you.